Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Monday. Today we are talking about how you can identify if your crested gecko is a lily white or not. This video was requested by one of you guys and I'm always open to doing your video suggestions. So if you have something you'd like to see, please DM me on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I'll try and make a video on it. Now this one was requested a couple months ago but I'm finally just getting around to it now. So I apologize, but today we're talking about whether or not you can identify if a gecko is a lily white or not. Now, 99% of the time, it won't really matter because if you're getting a lily white, you'll definitely know because obviously you're going to be paying a lot more for it than a regular gecko and they're pretty easy to spot. But on occasion, you may come across a gecko and wonder, hmm, is that a lily white? So I came up with a couple things you can do to tell if your gecko is a lily white or not. Now, none of these are surefire, 100% ways to tell. Uh, and thankfully, I have geckos that are very easy to tell on. But the problem comes in when you have animals that are very, very, very low expression lily whites where they only have a little white on them. Then it can be tricky because they can look like some regular pinstripes or regular quad stripes. And it just makes it a little bit more difficult. But we're going to be taking a look at two geckos today. And we're going to see whether or not we can determine whether or not they are lily whites. But what we have here is one of my baby lily whites. And first I got to show you some things that define a lily white. So the first one being uh, lily whites always have very thick, creamy white patterns on the side. As you can see here, there's like almost, it looks like extra scales on the sides, but it's just that thick, creamy white pattern. All lily whites pretty much have this going on. Some of them are going to be more yellow in tint, but some of them are going to be just obviously like a normal whitish color. It's going to look very thick on their sides. It's going to look like they have extra scales. So that's one big factor. That's probably the easiest way. The next way is by obviously looking at the stomach here. You can see on this little baby guy already has all this white on the tummy. All lily whites pretty much have a white stomach unless they're extremely low expression. But even the really low expressions ones will have some sort of white on their stomach for the most part. I mean, there's obviously a few exceptions, but this is also a really good way to tell. And finally, but probably the worst way to tell is by the tail. You can see the tail here is extremely white. Maybe not on camera, but in real life, lily whites do have extra white tails. At least it seems that way to me. Almost all crested geckos have some sort of white on their tail or some sort of cream. But the lily whites is like super pure, like paper white. And you can see that this particular gecko doesn't have any pattern on it either. Or very little anyway. This isn't really a super determining factor. I definitely wouldn't judge a gecko just by its tail but it's just something that I've noticed with the lily whites in general. You can see like this gecko here, the male, has a very clear defined like ridge of scales on the side. It's almost like a little quad stripe going on, um, but it's just that very thick white. And this is gonna be your best friend when determining whether or not a gecko is a lily white or not, because most normal crested geckos don't have this. So it's one of your, uh, your best ways. Now two ways you aren't gonna be able to see on the gecko itself is if one of the parents was a lily white, then your gecko has a chance of being a lily white. If your gecko has two normal parents, then it does not have a chance, then there is no chance that it's a lily white at all. And actually, I've seen a couple lily whites advertised for sale on Morph Market that were not actually lily whites. I think some people believe that any gecko that has white is a lily white, so be on the lookout for that. I almost ended up buying a gecko that was $300 advertised as a lily white back like a year ago just to take a risk on it because it was too hard to tell in the pictures whether or not it was a lily white just because it was so low expression that it could have went either way. But in the end, I got parent pictures out of the person and they're both normal parents so that I knew for sure it was not a lily white. But I just wouldn't want any of you guys to fall into that trap. You know, maybe you buy an animal for three, four, five hundred dollars $500 thinking it is one and it's really not because that would be awful. But now that we know some of the characteristics of a lily white, let's take a look at one of my adult males. So this is a 48 gram male here. You can see he looks like any other lily white. He's got nice white pattern. He's obviously fired down right here. So if he was fired up, that white or cream would be even brighter. But just by taking a look at this angle, it's pretty easy to see. He doesn't have any very thick raised scales on the sides. He's still white, but the scales are rather flat or kind of matte. You can really see it from this angle right here that these scales don't stick up at all. They just look like normal pattern color on any other crested gecko. Especially looking from the top down, you can see that there's none that particularly stick out. So I would say this gecko does not pass the sticking scales out test, I guess. And you can also see the tail here looks pretty normal like any other crested gecko. It does have a little bit more white than most do, 
but it is still more of a cream color and there's a lot more I guess pattern on it on the underside at least and you got the little speckles at the tip this isn't a very good way to judge but it's also just something to keep in mind okay so I put our little friend here in a jar and we can see that his stomach is barely white there's a little bit fading in but for the most part it is just normal gecko color so this gecko fails all three of the lily white tests he doesn't have the raised scales on the side, he doesn't have a white stomach, and his tail looks relatively normal to most other crested geckos. And I can tell you that this gecko is not a lily white. I actually know what the parents look like, and this gecko has no lily whites in its lineage, so we know for a fact that it is not, in fact, a lily white. So this is my gecko vector. You can see a ton of white pattern, very extreme, better than most of my lily whites, to be honest with you. But let's kind of take a look at his white here from afar. You can see that he does have some sort of raised, like, little patches of cream here and there. He's going to be nice and flip around onto his other side. He's also very horny today, so I'm trying to keep my hands away from him. You can see he's on the prowl, but that's besides the point. Uh, he's got, you know, a good amount of white. He's got a little bit of raised scales going on, but he doesn't have a, like, a clear, direct, like, whole row of them. They're just kind of spread here and there, and that's more normal than uh, having the whole line on a regular crested gecko but you can see zooming in here near the bottom some of the scales do look like they're raised so this might throw a red flag but since they're not all in a row and very thick and you know broad I would say he does not pass the the scale test taking a look at his tail here you can see he also has quite a bit of pattern on his tail and I know he lost the tip of it but that was before I got him so Nothing I can do about that, but his tail looks also pretty normal. Uh, nothing really unusual about that. But if we go ahead and we put him in a jar here, let's take a peek. Now that he's in the jar, we can see that he does in fact have a very, very white stomach. So this might throw you off. If he has one or two of the characteristics, it doesn't necessarily mean a gecko is a lily white. You can see how white his stomach is, but Vector is not in fact a lily white. He doesn't also have any lily white lineage in him. He just happens to be a very high white animal. So unless a gecko has all three characteristics, you can't really consider it a lily white. If it was a lily white, it would probably have the very thick pattern on the side and a white stomach. And unfortunately, even then, you don't really know unless you know the parents. That is the key here. So buying an animal without lineage, unless you can see that it is a very definite lily white, you really don't know. The only way to tell would be able to breed that animal out. If it throws a bunch of nice looking lily white babies, then you definitely know what you have. But unfortunately, that is not the most, you know, easy route to go. You got to grow the animal, breed the animal, and then it might not even be a lily white. But 99% of the time, this won't happen to you. This would only be on the very rare occasion when you need to decide if you see an animal without lineage. Or there is also like that random $300 air quote lily white on Morph Market. And you're trying to decide whether or not you should go for it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, I think Lily Whites in general are going to be coming down in price if you've been wanting one. I know that's off the topic, but I just have a feeling that's my words for and predictions for 2021. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Update video next week about the website. The website is down and is going to be down all week pretty much just because I'm going to be updating it. But be on the lookout for that and I will see you next week.